Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's see filter circuits and frequency response. We have four different filter circuits, low pass filter, high pass filter, band pass filter and band reject filter. In this video, let's discuss low pass and high pass filters and their frequency responses. First, what is low pass filter? Low pass filter is a circuit which passes only low frequency signals as output and it is going to reject all the high frequency signals comes as input to the circuit. And high pass filter is exactly reverse to the low pass filter where it will pass the high frequency signals coming as input to the output and it will reject all the low frequency signals comes as input. And first let us understand a low pass filter. Low pass filter is just a RC circuit like this. We will be having one R and C component that is a resistor and capacitor circuit like this. And here we can apply the input to the RC circuit and this is how we can take the output across the capacitor. So if you look at the frequency response by taking an amplitude at Y axis and frequency at X axis, we are going to get the output like this in a low pass filter. Here this point will be called as the cutoff frequency. Lower than this cutoff frequency, all the signals coming as input will be passed to the output that's why here you can see the amplitude is higher and once the frequency reaches fc means cutoff frequency if any signal coming at the input if it is more than fc the signals will not be passed from the low pass filter so we say high frequency signals from this point will be rejected and if you write an expression for the output output of this low pass filter will be dependent on the reactance of the capacitor over here divided by reactance plus resistance value into the input. So here this Xc will be equal to 1 divided by omega c that is omega is 2 pi f that is the angular frequency. Here if we consider the two extreme cases we can understand the low pass filter easily. So let me consider first thing as suppose the input is having a very low frequency. If the low frequency signal in the sense this omega will be almost equal to 0. So let us consider the extreme case as omega is equal to 0. In this case what happens this xc will be equal to infinite. In this output expression if xc is infinite we say output will be almost equal to the input. So for all the low frequency signals this low pass filter output will be same as input we can say. Similarly for the high frequency components or high frequency signals as coming as input this frequency component omega will be equal to infinite. Suppose if we consider omega is infinite very high frequency so x is 0. In this output expression if you see if x is equal to 0 output will be equal to 0. So for high frequency components or high frequency signals low pass filter output will be 0. By looking at this we can say all the low frequencies are going to be passed from the low pass filter and high frequency signals are going to be rejected. But here up to what frequency it is going to pass the signals. So that will be depending on this cutoff frequency fc will be equal to 1 divided by 2 pi into rc. So it will be depending on the value of r and c what we are going to choose depending on that the cutoff frequency can be set and this is the ideal frequency response we can say practically the frequency response will be like this if this is the amplitude and this is frequency and here we can measure the cutoff frequency by taking 3 db lower than this means it is 0 0.707 times the amplitude if we do so we here we are going to get if we plot this over here this will be the cutoff frequency where we call it as fc and below this frequency all the signals are going to be passed above this frequency the signals are going to be rejected this is about the low pass filter similarly if you see high pass filter it is a capacitor and resistor connected in this fashion by applying input we can measure the output across the resistor and the frequency response of the high pass filter will be like this here the frequencies are going to be taken in x-axis. Once the frequency reaches the cutoff frequency above all frequency signals the high pass filter is going to 
pass the signals and it is going to reject the low frequency signals. This is we call it as a pass band and here this region will be called as stop band. This will be called as stop band. So these band signals from 0 to FC it will reject the signals and FC and as it goes high it will pass the signals. And the output expression for this high pass filter will be dependent on R and XC like this. And here if you take the two extreme cases again XC is equal to 1 divided by omega C. If you take the low frequency signal first the low frequency in the sense omega will be equal to 0. In this case XC will be infinite. If XC is infinite in this expression we know output will be equal to 0. Similarly for the high frequency signals if the high frequency if we consider it as omega is equal to infinite this XC becomes 0. In this case the output if you see at this expression output will be equal to input. Means for the high frequencies the output will be same as input and high pass filter is going to pass all the signals as it is. And for the low, low frequencies the output signal will be 0. Again if you look at the practical frequency response by taking this as amplitude and this as frequency somewhere here we are going to get the cutoff frequency of the high pass filter. And now this becomes the pass band this will be called as pass band and it will be called as stop band here. Now let us look at the active filters. This is a first order active low pass filter. Why it is called as active low pass filter means here we will be having an amplifier which is an active component. The active component can be a transistor which is acting as an amplifier or any amplifier circuit like op amp if you have in our circuit we call it as active device. So here you can see it is called as first order active low pass filter why because we will be having only one stage of RC circuit here. This will be act as a low pass filter and with that we will be having an op amp so it is active low pass filter. In this circuit if we plot a frequency response this will be the frequency response we are going to get by taking voltage gain in y axis and frequency in x axis. Here practically if you see this is the slope we are going to get after it reaching the cutoff frequency fh. Here the slope is minus 20 db per decade and the cutoff frequency of this first order low pass filter is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi rc and the pass band gain is given by 1 plus rf divided by r1. And the second order active low pass filter if you see here you can observe two rc stages are present. This rc stage and this rc stage making two low pass filters connected back to back. So here you can see the difference in the slope. This slope is minus 40 dB per decade. As we go for the higher order filters the frequency response is going to be like this. The slope increases. So to get a sharp slope we need to go for higher order filters. You can see the cutoff frequency of the second order low pass filter it is dependent on R2, R3 and C2, C3 and these R2, R, R3 and C2, C3 making the low pass filters here and if we have the same value of R and C again it will be reduced to 1 divided by 2 pi RC and if you look at the first order active high pass filter again here we will be having a high pass filter component with an amplifier. Here also the slope will be plus 20 dB per decade means here it is increasing the amplitude after it reaching the cutoff frequency. The cutoff frequency will be equal to 1 divided by 2 pi RC in the first order high pass filter. In the second order high pass filter again the slope will be increased to 40 dB per decade. If we increase the number of stages we can expect like this. So here again the cutoff frequency is 1 divided by 2 pi under the root R2, R3, C2, C3 and if all the resistor and capacitors are going to be equal it will be reduced to 1 divided by 2 pi RC. This is about the first and second order low pass and high pass filters. In the next video let us see band pass and band eject filters. Thank you.